uh, looking at some updates today from training camp. And this is on the heels of yesterday where it didn't look great. It was a bad day for Drake May. Mm -hmm. Maybe the worst yet. I think, I mean, statistically, definitely the worst. I'm not down there watching it, but by statistics. You know how I feel about practice statistics. I I do, but I think sometimes. These ones are pretty ugly. (laughs) They tell a story. Uh, He was two for six with an INT in seven on sevens. Duggar with a pick six. He was one for five, 11 on 11s. Brissett, meanwhile, was four for six and eight for nine. Uh, On top of that, he seemed erratic accuracy-wise. You know, it's not just like, oh, these plays were broken up. They were close. Guys dropped them. They were on him. He was taking sacks. It sounded like a bad day for Drake May. Now, let me make this clear. I still feel strongly about Drake May, his long-term future, but I'm getting nervous about the week one prediction because you can't have days like this following up what happened yesterday. So he's going to have to turn it around real quick. This cannot bleed over to like a full week. Uh, but Ryan, in the meantime, let's hit it. We're doomed. 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 I'm hitting the. Doomed. 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 I'm hitting the, the panic alarm a little bit. That's I'm too like, much I was of waiting that. for a beat to drop. Yeah, I thought yeah. I thought something was going to happen Wait. there. Uh, so you make these requests at 154. This is what you get. <laughs> it's earlier than that. Two. I I am I am nervous about uh, Drake May and now him starting week one. Like I am I am not feeling good about that based on the last two days. Early on. Like last week through Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm like, he's getting all the reps. He's playing with starters. He's going against the ones. This looks like it's tracking for him to play week one. It's exactly how it was with Mac. Yesterday was shaky. I wasn't freaking out. Today is a day worth freaking out over as much as you can in training camp because that does not look promising at all. Yeah, something about today is different. The pads are on. They're hitting. I bet it's a little bit of a shock to him. I'm sure it is. And so I'm not going to react as strongly as you are. I guess I've been kind of waiting for a day like this. There have been days where it's like, oh, is there a hitch when he's throwing across his body? Is some are are some of his mechanics slipping backwards? Is he is he making the reads? Can you tell? Is it translating to when he's actually on the field? But you can't really translate because they're in shells and blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is where we see the actual development and we see the actual hurdles that he's going to have to get over. And keep in mind, Barmore and Godchow were not out there. So it's not, Judon wasn't out there. So it's not even a situation in which, say you're going up against what might be a really, really good defense with the Patriots, your heaviest hitters aren't out there. And so for Drake May, this is kind of what I anticipated. I hope he learns and gets it out of his system. But I bet we're going to have a couple more days at least that are ugly reports like this one. He's erratic. It's okay. accuracy sway off. He looks like he's, you know, a flailing puppy out there. Feet are too big for him. You know, I'm sure we're going to get more of that. Well, well, if he does, then he won't start. And this is what I'm telling you. So I, I disagree with Dubs985 in the Twitch chat. Jones is bailing on his take. I'm not. I'm just well, telling you. Well, you did say I'm worried about the week one take. Yeah. yeah. Not your week you one know, take. You know, I'm I'm, wor- I'm worried about him starting week one after a day like today. How could you not be? He sucked out there. And so I'm not. Well, running. I never thought he was going to Jones. Okay, I I know you didn't. I'm telling you, that's that's what I'm afraid of now. I don't want to watch Kobe Brissett this year. Don't want to watch it. And by the way, Brissett not only was eight to nine, but he was hitting big plays down the field. Yeah, which may have been hitting the last couple of days, which is why I wasn't worried. So when I say I'm panicking, I'm now nervous about it. Doesn't mean you, I'm run- you, yeah, thank you. you. Thank you. Doesn't mean I'm running from it. Doesn't mean I'm totally out. Just I'm, if I have to react to today's practice, he needs to bounce back from it tomorrow, like fast tomorrow. And he needs to start lighting it up. Why does it, he need to bounce back tomorrow? Because you can't let these snowball. Because they're not going to keep giving you reps. I know, but isn't, like isn't there going to be some undulation? Uh, supposedly, <laughs> in theory, yes. But I, I'm nervous about it, Arkan. Yeah, I think that if uh, May had the type of day that Brissett had, if he was 8 for 9 with a bunch of bombs downfield, then Jones would be undulating right now in the other room. That would be <laughs> happening yeah. right now. So yeah, I'm just I'm consistent. If he has a good day, We'd I like it. If, he has, over. if right. he has a bad day, I don't like it. I don't just commit and say, ah, I'm not too worried about it. Like, no, I'm worried about it. He yeah. had a bad day. And it's not even just so much that he had a bad day. It's that Brissett had a really good day. And and if it's a competition, then I think he was already behind the eight ball. If they're even, tie goes to Brissett. That's what it seems like Mayo's been preaching and what it seems like they want to do in terms of week one and starting the year. If it's tied, if they're both sort of there, he said Brissett's our number one guy, and that's what we're going to do. So if they're about even, that's where it goes. If Brissett's much better than May in these early uh, practices and continues on that sort of trajectory while May kind of climbs up slowly, then forget about it. I mean, there's no way. Of course Brissett's going to start week one. I yeah. think that's, that's almost a guarantee. Look. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, last week, I thought it was a real battle. The last two days have been bad for Drake May, which is why I'm officially starting to freak out. And if uh, it ends up okay, I have an alarm for that, too. Now, here's my everything's okay alarm. <laughs> this will sound every three seconds. I wait, I wait. Unless 
Something isn't okay. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, 617-779-7937.